Well, crews out here were originally fighting three fires, but two of them crossed paths combining into one. The high today, 81 degrees. The same weekend last year, it was in the low 60s, scaring many people off the beach. But today, you couldn't find an empty spot in the sand. It's named in memory of the Fort Myers officer who was killed by a convicted felon three years ago. Individual businesses can't have a sign any taller than five feet in height. While the weather has slowed down some of the efforts out here on the Gulf, it hasn't completely stopped all of them. As you can see behind me, helicopters are flying out along the coast, dropping bags of sand to further protect the area. Here's a better look at what was causing the problem. Now that this massive derrick has been removed from the waterway, police will be able to monitor nearly 30 locations throughout the city, but they say it's not because of an increase in crime, but instead for your own personal protection. We're actually going on hour 20 for the search for Paul Collins, who's been wanted in St. Martinville since July 6 for allegedly shooting and killing his estranged wife. The streets of this Englewood neighborhood are pretty quiet, but residents have some harsh words to say about their neighbor, Jimmy Sobja. Disgusting. And I hope they hang him. Authorities arrested Sabja on Wednesday, charged with sexual battery on a minor, along with lewd or lascivious battery. The 15-year-old victim told authorities she was drinking alcohol at a party at Jimmy Sabja's house last July, then fell asleep on a couch. According to the arrest report, she told detectives the last thing she remembered was being in Jimmy's bedroom and Jimmy was performing sexual acts on her. Sexual acts too graphic to say on TV. We went to Sabja's house and spoke with his wife, who tells us the party that night was for her birthday with nearly 40 people in attendance. Adult little kids, it was a family party. A family party, she says, that included the 15-year-old victim and her parents, people she claims were family friends, at least up until the night of the party. Sabja's wife, Melissa, says her husband was wrongfully accused, but offers an excuse for whatever he may have done that night. You know, when you're drunk, you're drunk. You know, things happen, you don't remember things. I've never raped an underage child when I was drunk. I, I don't have no more comment. Sabja's bond totals more than $60,000. Authorities say it's so high because the judge found probable cause to keep him in jail. I'm coming. Thank you so much over there. Traveling ever so slowly through the sand is Ice Cream Dave. Uh, they're going to let me go through here. And though it's tough to maneuver his cart through the crowds, he says it's a problem he's happy to put up with, especially when compared to this same weekend last year. Last year I was in bed waiting for a little warmer weather to come around. This year the warm weather was welcomed with open arms and umbrellas. It's pretty busy today. Yeah, it took us about a half hour just to get over the bridge. And many others waited in the long line to the beach as well. A stressful drive for some, but a good sign for local businesses. When there's a line of traffic coming onto the beach that, you know, there's money here for the businesses. So we don't complain too much. Restaurants had all hands on deck to handle the holiday crowd, while staff at the local inns prepared for a flood of guests. Here on the beach, the hotels are just as crowded as it is on the sand. In fact, some owners we spoke with tell us they had to turn people away because there just weren't any rooms. Anytime there's either a Friday or a Monday off, if there's a Friday off for, you know, teacher and service day or a holiday on a Monday, business typically picks up. And it picked up just in time, considering the season got off to a slow start. Perfect for out-of-towners escaping the cold weather or East Coasters kept out of the water due to a sea full of migrating sharks. Yeah, there's too many sharks. You're not allowed to go in the water right now, so it's nice to be able to go in the water here. At South Florida Gold Exchange, you can find art, rare coins, and jewelry. But there's something missing off the storefront. I want Fred and Barney back right now. That's right, Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble. Two four-foot-tall statues of the character sat here on the porch or out by the street for the past four months. I've seen them all every day. You know, they're waving at you, hi, how you ever ever do? Fred and Barney were a popular sight to see out here on the storefront. They were taken out each morning and put away at night. When the shop owner left them alone out here on the patio for about an hour and a half, he came back to his store to find they were missing. 
The two statues were a good way to advertise for the shop while bringing together residents from around the area. Most of the children in the neighborhood would come and want to have their pictures taken with them. Children like six-year-old Ryan Emirates, who's not happy about the crime. Don't like it. They're my friends. Friends now gone, leaving behind a sad six-year-old while teaching those at the gold exchange a valuable lesson. Don't leave uh, Fred and Barney outside by themselves for more than an hour. Somebody's going to kidnap them.